this is my living room. It have a standing lamp. It have a plush rug on the floor. It have three comfortable seats and it have original art on the wall. Is there another way to describe what's in this room? Let's find out. Hello writers. Welcome to Adventures in Writing TT, where we offer you tips to help you improve your writing. This video is the first in a series I'm calling Trinidad Creole vs. Standard English. It focuses on the Creole grammatical structure it have and its Standard English version there is and there are. In Trinidad, the official language is Standard English. It is the language you learn in school and you are expected to use it for formal occasions. For example, if you are interviewing for a job or making a speech at a graduation. However, most people also speak the Trinidad Creole, a language that developed due to the mixing of different languages of people who settled here over time. Most people use the Trinidad Creole in informal occasions. For example, when you are talking to friends and family. Trinidad Creole is also used to make beautiful songs and poetry. As I mentioned before, over time, many people from different countries speaking different languages have settled here and had to find common ways to communicate. This led to the emergence of a new language, the Trinidad Creole, which is mainly English-based but also contains elements from a number of languages like French, Spanish, a variety of African languages, and Trinidad Bojpuri or Hindustani. Now the Creole structure it have and the standard English structures there is and there are, are both used to talk about things that exist. In the Creole, we use it have plus a singular or plural noun. Fun fact, it have is a direct translation of the French il y a. So if I wanted to tell someone in French that this car is parked in the yard, I might say il y a une voiture dans la cour, which literally translates to it have a car in the yard, the Creole version. Now let's say another car joined the first car in my yard. I might say in French, il y a deux voitures dans la cour. The Creole version is the translation, it have two cars in the yard. Whereas the Creole it have remains the same regardless of the noun that follows it, the Standard English versions are a bit different. In Standard English, we use there is plus a singular noun and there are plus a plural noun. Let's head back to the car in the yard. In standard English, I would say there is a car in the yard. Since I'm referring to one car, I will follow the word there with the verb is. Of course, if another car pulled up, I would have to say there are two cars in the yard because I'm referring to two cars and therefore I must use the verb are. It have is also used if we want to ask a question about something's existence. For example, Brandon might ask Marie, it have any food in the fridge? And she might reply, yes, it have plenty. In the Creole, we also use it have to ask about the existence of many things. So again, Brandon might ask Marie, it have orange on the tree? Notice. He's asking about the existence of many oranges on the tree, but uses the word orange. That's because in the Trinidad Creole, plural nouns aren't always marked by the letter S. Comment down below if you want to see a video on forming the plural in Trinidad Creole. Now in Standard English, there is becomes is there before adding the singular noun. So Brandon might ask, is there any food in the fridge? And to reply, Maria might say, yes, there's plenty. 
what happens when we are asking about the existence of multiple things in standard English? Let's go back to the orange tree. In standard English, Brandon might say, are there oranges on the tree? And Marie might reply with, yes, yes, there are many. So writers, now we have explored how it have, there is, and there are working conversations. Let's explore how we can use these structures in writing. It's wonderful to be able to speak both Standard English and Creole. It means that you have two languages that you can use depending on the occasion that requires them. When it comes to writing, you can use the Creole very creatively in your poems, in a text to friends and family, and in direct speech in your stories. Remember, of course, to use quotation marks to indicate when your characters are speaking in your story. You can use standard English also in your poems. But for formal text, for example, to a teacher or an employer, use standard English. It's considered more polite to do so. You can also use standard English in direct speech in your stories. Again, remember to use quotation marks. All in all, remember to use Standard English for all forms of formal writing. Writers, let's practice what we've learned in this adventurous activity. At the beginning of this video, I described what was in my living room. I said, this is my living room. It have a standing lamp. It have a plush rug on the floor. It have three comfortable seats. And it have original art on the wall. This is fine if I'm describing what is in my room to a friend or to someone who speaks Trinidad Creole. However, if I were giving a house tour for a foreign television show where the audience may not speak Creole, I can use the standard English structures there is and there are to describe what's in my room. Now, when would I use is and when would I use are? Since we have a standing lamp, would I use there is or there are? Remember, is is used for singular nouns. We're talking about a standing lamp, one standing lamp. And so we would say there is a standing lamp. What about this one? We're talking about one plush rug. Therefore, we would use what? We would use is. Excellent work, writers. Let's look at this one. It have three comfortable seats. Hmm. We have three comfortable seats. That's plural. And what verb do we use when we have plural nouns? Aha. Ah, there are three comfortable seats. And let's look at this last one. Might be a bit tricky. Hmm. Original art. Is that a singular noun or is it a plural noun? It is a singular noun. There is original art on the wall. Let's read my completed paragraph. This is my living room. There is a standing lamp. There is a plush rug on the floor. There are three comfortable seats and there is original art on the wall. That's quite good. But Here's a bonus tip. Avoid using there is or there are excessively in writing. Try to shift more focus on the subjects, that the subjects do something. Let's look at the example. This is my living room. There is a standing lamp. There is a plush rug on the floor. There are three comfortable seats and there is original art on the wall. We've said there is or there are four times, but there may be a way to not use there is or there are at all in a paragraph, all by focusing on the subjects. Here is the version with all those there is and there are expressions. But look at this. This is my living room. A standing lamp illuminates the room and a plush rug adorns the floor. 
three comfortable seats are available for visitors. Original art adorns the wall. Look at that, writers. We have not used there is or there are at all. What we've done is taken the subjects of the sentences and added appropriate verbs. We're going to try this in our writing from now on, aren't we? We're going to try our best to avoid using there is and there are excessively. So what have we learned? The creole it have is used to discuss singular and plural things that exist in informal settings. In standard English, use there is plus a singular noun and there are plus a plural noun. But avoid using there is and there are excessively in writing. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you will never miss out on another adventure. Also, please like and share this video. I really would appreciate it. Until next time, happy writing!